the wood that we grow is the finest in the world. I'm very much satisfied how much I'm producing. More people from Changtang also should involve in this kind of business so that they can help to the community in Changtang. Dark pashmina is actually the finest pashmina in the entire world. It's not the usual pashmina that you would see around, you know, it's more thicker. And the importance of it is that it is hand woven, hand spun by the women artisans of Ladakh. A nomadic, sustainable life persists in very few parts of the world today. Ladakh, one of India's least populated regions, is the hostile home to a community that still coexists with nature. A large part of Leh district's landmass is Changthang, in the Indian extension of the vast Tibetan plateau. People that reside here are called the Changpas, one of eight tribes living in Ladakh. Today, of the 13,000 Changpas, less than 5,000 people are still practicing a pastoral nomadic life. They move across various sacred valleys, from one fixed camp to another, with nothing but the Tibetan calendar, weather, and the availability of grass for their livestock to guide them. Hi, I'm Navang Punsok and I'm from Tiri village. I uh, grown up in a semi-nomadic family in the Changtang region, where we raise goats, yaks and sheep. We don't have markets there in the villages, you know, so we get uh, done everything in the home. Our cash income is uh, like uh, from the animals. So while I'm going to school, I was also looking after the animals. When we are getting an opportunity to, you know, introduce ourselves, we normally avoid using Changtang or Changpa, that we are belongs to this community. An area mostly administered by outsiders has left the locals feeling too traditional or uncivilized. And that has been the subject of interest for a young professor from EJM College. And I thought like it's better to study on my own community. My name is Tanjan Namgyal. I'm from Taruk, Lalok, Changtang. My parents, they never been to school. So I'm the first. And I was also the third person who have done PhD from there. So it means, sare log jo hai, lej as a reference leke, hum copy karne ki koshish karte hain, baaki jo jitne bhi hamare areas hai. Taman chala lo, anyabod rukan ba, abhi me min maang chai, duksman, abhi me me ya abha maan. Toh sampat tes, ting ni, ta cha chik taks po, cha cha chok sthong tano kaal tes ma, taan time jina yam po. Uh, livestock and pastoralism is our identity. You have to work throughout the year. There is no holiday, no Sunday. Once you have a, your livestock, so you have to take care of them like every day. The people of Changthang live and breathe livestock. Hard work is worthwhile as their food, shelter, and clothing comes from sheep and goats. In life and death, every part of the animal is utilized. The Changra or Pashmina goats are more economically important than the sheep because they yield the golden wool. You may know this fiber as cashmere. It's the fine underfleece or down that only grows on high-altitude Changthangi goats in the bitter winters, which gets combed out in the summer when the goats are shedding. Chimi Kando, a 70-year-old Tibetan goat herder, has seen this trade for over six decades. <laughs> Ngai ma ngai ma ne ngai lo chu ba ngai lo chu se la ne 
we don't really wear pashmina it's a luxurious item and people who grow pashmina don't really get good price for their wool i have seen my parents taking it to lay for selling it to the kashmiris or some middlemen comes and they pick up all the benefit goes to the middlemen you know all the raw material used to go from ladakh to kashmir there they made their pashmina shawls and kashmir was actually known for it more popularly known worldwide as kashmir Pashmina was sadly never associated with the people of Ladakh who actually produced it. I'm Stanzan Palmo. I'm a fashion designer and my label Zilzong is based out of Ladakh. You know people think that if it's thick and you know if it's not very fine and if it doesn't pass through a ring you know it's not pashmina but that's not true. Ladakh pashmina is actually the finest pashmina in the entire world. It is from 12 to 15 microns. China produces 70% and Mongolia 20% of the world's cashmere. High altitude pastures can only accommodate so many domesticated animals before it starts to affect wild herbivores. Capturing only a 1% share of the global cashmere production, Ladakh pashmina is truly homegrown, mindful and small scale. It still manages to be the primary livelihood for more than half the households in Changthang without putting intense pressure on these precious pastures. By bringing various stakeholders together, it also directly benefits the herders. My name is Sonam Siring. and currently i am general secretary of all changtang pashmina global cooperative marketing society le and then manager of pashmina processing plant here in kaltangling locally elected changpas like sonam sering have been working to empower the community in business decisions like cleaning buying and selling the pashmina chitung gupya gupchu bunena nga tene lene jun gun kilo nga ta tugya mane met dirin tene kilo tong sum sup nga ta sum 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 pasang ibina dembe khap nga gela jiga ta yo tena it has never been given the importance it should have and the importance of it is that it is hand woven hand spun by the women artisans of ladakh pehle hum ghar mein hi knitting meeting karte the dusron ko bechte nahi the मेरा नाम लुमसंग लमो है मैं स्तोक से हूँ और मैं लुमसब लद्दाख में काम करती हूँ लुमसब लद्दाख एक वुमेन्स कॉपरेटिव है सारे औरतें मिलके काम करती हैं पश्मीना यागुल शिबुल कैमुल का पूरा प्रोडक्ट यहाँ बनता है वो प्योर बनता है पूरा हाथ का काम है लूम्स ऑफ लद्दाख करंटली वर्क इन एट विलेजेस विद अबाउट टू हंड्रेड जो घर घर में सारे औरतें लड़की बैठे हैं वो लोग को भी थोड़ा इनकम आ जाएगा ये सोच के हमने ये वूल पे काम करना शुरू किया आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम निफ्ट न्यू दिल्ली आई वाज द डिजाइन मेंटर ऑफ लूम्स ऑफ लद्दाख पश्मीना इज एन अनटैप्ड मार्केट एंड इट हैज रिसेंटली बीन टैप्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द अपकमिंग एंटरप्रेन्योर्स हु आर वर्किंग ऑन इट Palmo herself is creating a unique identity for Ladakh pashmina. When I blended the hand embroidery with the Ladakh pashmina, I think it created a very beautiful uh, melange of two different crafts. When you brand something and you know you have the size under control, put it in the market, I think it makes a huge difference because you know you understand you know what the customers want. Now the amalays at Looms of Ladakh they really understand that. After working in a pashmina processing plant for 7 years, Funsok started his own small scale textile business in 2010. I am working as a bridge between the market and the producer. So I don't really go for like mass production and all.
30 percent of my production is all done on hand and the rest of the thing i do outsourcing and so i'm very happy now i'm yes exporting it to some countries like germany and japan and some parts The living conditions of the nomads have not improved at the pace of the Indian or even the Pashmina economy. Then then to kabudu. Ranga ra ni ya na to kabudu to kabudu. Dia ngala ja sa ya sexy. Maso hot pe ni. So even in the Revo interior, you have the same uh, lifestyle like our ancestors. So that is why younger generations are going away from here. Ramatoin coin bo, katao tamo tobe lotong la songi. Ramatoin coin bo inda. Losing uh, animals, losing a nomad's life is a very big loss. Ladakh is now talking about organic by 2025 or so. How can we we achieve that without uh, nomads? The rapid spread of the novel coronavirus has exposed the many loopholes in our consumerist lifestyle. As we strive to be more sustainable, Ladakh Pashmina provides an alternative economic model, one that is place-based ecologically sensitive and beneficial to the producers that are the herders in time it can inspire the youth to work on more such models reclaiming their cultural identity while supporting both their aspirations and local ecology we have started a youth organization called ladakh triumphs so we try to inculcate the feeling that whatever we are doing what sort of like you know lifestyle or practicing animal herding back in changtang so that is a pride so now we proudly say even all the students now they proudly say like i am from this area and i belong to a changpa community after immersing himself in a cultural exchange in austria stanzin recommends ladakh to celebrate its own wool festival the good thing is that Uh, the younger generation even they want to be there but the issue is like we need to do some changes in like our lifestyle i do this business because i love animals i grown up with the animals see in changtang there's lots of learning in the in the mountain you get lots of pleasure i wish all the children should get this kind of time in their childhood Yeah, I have. Yeah, one daughter. Yeah, she is three years old. Whatever she does, but she, uh, but I'm sure that she will always still, you know, connected with the uh, where I belong. Yeah. Takut ni si si partu ni ramai deh bukti ni ramai tu. Kokar ramai kalah duk tanggai. Mai macam mana ramai duk tanggai ramai am jadi tu mana tu. हमने इतना तो नहीं सोचा था कि ये इतना बड़ा हो जाएगा यह मेहनत का पैसा मिल रहा है तो ये सोच के अच्छा लग रहा है जी Chantan le yo chamasi pa chan chan